Hi, out here today activating the Yoda, uh, yards on the air, with my new homebrew 40 meter wire antenna. It's going to be quarter wavelength wire heading up my spider beam mast with six 33 foot radials on it. We're going to get this out in the yard and put her through the test. Let's see how it goes. So one thing about it today, our yards on the air is going to be a hybrid version. Uh, the antenna is going to be in the yard, but I'm going to be in the ham shack because it's so hot this weekend. I didn't want to drag the camper out of the shed out into the heat and sunshine. And I figured, you know, I'm just going to leave it in the shed and and uh, I'll operate from the ham shack. The antenna will be out in the yard. We'll call it good. So that's what we're going to do. So just a quick rundown of what we're looking at. I made this aluminum sheet plate and uh, cut some holes in it for the radials and barrel connector up through the center with my wire antenna quarter wavelength uh, that'll go up the spider beam and the spider beam will come right down the center of this hole. Hopefully it works. Okay, we got the spider beam tripod mounted. Our first problem is one of my uh, ground radio wires pulled out of them. So I have to double one up and make another one. Okay, so I cut this extra long. This is the antenna wire. So we're gonna get it launched and then we're gonna get the analyzer on it and trim it where we need it to be resonant. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, the original trim. Shorten that sucker up. All right, let's go cut some off. Okay, so we got her launched. There's the ground radio plate right there with my six radials coming off to the sides. They're 33 feet long. And then I've got the uh, wire coming through the connector and going straight up to the top. And I had to trim it to 32 feet to get it uh, around 1.0 resonance. So, so what I did here was I got the coax coming up and then I uh, took some black tape and just taped it around the spider beam to, uh, so that the uh, weight of the radial plate and radials was not hanging on my wire up there. So. Uh, the tape and the coax is actually supporting or helping hold up the, uh, the tension so it's not tight on the, on the wire, not hanging on the wire in other words. So. Hey, I'm using 100 feet of coax, RG8U coax cable to get down to the spider beam, down to the antenna, and I uh, believe that has a 0.98 dB loss per 100 feet. On that cable so I'm losing a DB which kind of sucks but what are you gonna do that's hand okay so here's our SWR uh, the low end is right here at uh, right, there's a spot it's right there 7.175 and let's crank it up here to our, right there's our next 1.1. 1 .1. Back it off a little. Okay, right there, 7.2. 254 is the top end of the one for one. And at 70, 300, we're still at 1.1. .1. So I'm happy with that. That's good enough for an old farm boy like me. So let's, let's roll with it. Uh, Sierra, three uniform parks on the air. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. Uh, okay, I think I got a uh, Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, is that correct? QSL, QSL, you are 5555 five, five, Iowa, QSL. Okay, we copy, you're about a 512, 512 in the high, give me your Okay, Kilo Bravo 3, Delta Oscar Romeo, and uh, you're in Georgia, over. Yes, sir. And I got 
but you're five and zero. You're Q five, but you're not moving my meter there. Over, over. Right. Hey, dude, that's going on. Hey, the kilo gonna fight. Kilo zero, kilo Lima Bravo. Hey, kilo, kilo. Kilo zero, kilo Lima Bravo. Five nine zero zero one over. Okay, for number one. Thank you. Thank you. So all in all, I'm going to say this is a uh, successful activation. Uh, even though we only got three calls, most of that's my fault because uh, I was running too low of power. And uh, you know, if you can't get above the noise, no one can hear you. So hello, you know, clue phone. But uh, yeah, once I uh, could hear myself, that's where the SDRs. You know, tuning into those can help uh, help me out a lot. Is uh, one zero and one watt on the uh, radio, just right down the noise. Couldn't hardly hear it, but the minute I jumped up to two watts and just above the noise there, I had a good copy of myself, and that's where I made that uh, Georgia contact. So um, that worked out pretty well. Um, as far as ease of setup, now that the uh, the wire length is resonant and I've got that tuned. Uh, as far as setting it up, easily less than five minutes. I mean, you you set the three um, the three guys for the PVC, get them in the ground, get your PVC set up, slide your spider beam down, launch the wire up, and walk around and put your radios in the ground, and that's all there is to it. You're ready to go. So no tuning after that because it's it's already tuned. So it was a good time. Had learned a lot. Um, there might be another video coming out comparing this antenna to the 550 foot long wire that I have. I had a QSO um, and we compared the two and uh, you might be surprised to kind of see the difference between this and the 550 foot wire. So hopefully we'll get that out and otherwise I uh, had a great time, learned a lot and uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching and thank you for watching and we'll see you next time, 7-3.